Good evening, 4-3. We're going to start with Lesson 15 tonight, Module 3. I can understand and solve division word problems with the remainder using the array and area models. So we're going back to the uh, partitive um, division and the measurement division. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to be showing partitive and measurement uh, division using an array and using an area model, which we're both very familiar with. And we're going to use this using the following problem. 26 divided by 4 and 26 divided by 4. And we're going to compare the two. So we're going to put our, we're going to create our array. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right. So now we need to group those together. How many groups do we have in those arrays? Let's create our array. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have six groups, with four in each, and this over here is telling me that we have two left over. So we have six, remainder two. And the one with the area model, that's gonna look a little different. Using the area model, let's create a rectangle. So we've basically, just like over here, we have the size, the width over here is going to be a four. And we've got a rectangle like this. And we are looking at this and we're gonna say four times what is going to give us the measurement of the inside of here, that area. And if we're thinking about four times what will get us close to 26. Well, I'm thinking the closest one we can get to would be a 24. So four times what gives us 24? And that would be six. But how many do we have left over? We've got 24, 25, 26. So we've got two left over. It looks very similar. See how we're stacking over here? That's our four, right here's our four. And then notice these two boxes on the side here is representing the remainder. We have two left over. So this is six, remainder two. All right, let's start showing division using an array, 24 divided by four. And this dividing by four is time to tell that we're going to have four in each group. So basically we're asking how many groups we have. So we got to count up to 24. Four in each. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Look at that. We got perfectly even. So we've got one group, two, three four, five, six. There's no remainder in this one. So we have an answer of six and a remainder of zero. Now with our area model, we are dividing by four, so we're gonna go up four. We have one, two, three, four. There's our four. And we want to kind of just move over. We want to start counting by four until we reach 24 or close to it without getting a remainder. So let's count by fours. We have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. And now we can complete, whoops, we can complete our rectangle. So how many do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. And so we've got a length of six.
with nothing left over. All right, 25 divided by 4. Okay, so we went up 1 from the previous problem. This previous problem had 24 divided by 4. So let's make an array. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So it looks like we've got a remainder in this one because we do not have a complete group. So how many groups we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, remainder 1. So this is, the quotient is 6 with a remainder of 1 that would look like this. 6 remainder 1. Guys, I just showed you a measurement division problem. That would like how to figure out the groups. What about partitive? Now the partitive um, division basically is saying us now take here, divide by 4, and make 4 groups. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. And I've got to go across and partitive, meaning break it all apart, and spread it between these four groups so until we get to 25. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and we've got one that does not belong in the group. He's left over. So there's an example of how we could figure out the partitive division. This is the measurement to find the groups, and this is the partitive to see how many are in each group. Okay, with the area model, we're dividing by four, so we're going to go up four. One, two, three, four. There's our four. We want to get as close as we can to 25. So we've got to count by fours until we get to close to 25. So this is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. But we can't add another 25. So that is basically what our, excuse me, I did this again. This is basically what our rectangle is going to look like. But it needs an extra box here because that represents we have one left over because four times six is 24 but we've got one left over which makes it 25 25 divided by four is six with a remainder of one so it's six remainder one our next one is 44 divided by seven so, since we've got 7 here, dividing by 7, we're going to want to put 7 in each row. So let's go. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we want to count all the way till we get to 44. So it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. All right, looks like we got a remainder of two here. This is our remainder of two, but we, how many groups do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six groups and two that do not fit in any group. So the answer to this problem is the quotient is six with a remainder of two. Okay, now to the area model. We're going up seven. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And since we did the array model, we know what's going to go across. We're going across by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And now we can complete the rectangle. So this one is going to be 7, and this side is going to be 6, because 7 times 6 is 42, but we've got a 44, so, and then we had a remainder of 2, so now we have to draw two extra boxes to show remainder 2. All right, our next problem is 37 divided by 6. So we want to have, because we're dividing by 6, we're going to want 6 in each group until we get too close to 37. So here we go. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Look at that. We got one that does not belong. So how many groups do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one left over. So this would look, be, the answer to this problem would be six, remainder, one. We've got one left over. Now, again, this is what we just had to find was we had to find the groups of um, how many groups. But if I wanted to show that in partitive division, we just showed measurement division, we would actually put this, this number right here, and we would make six groups. We'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we would spread apart 37 to show partitive division. And so let's do it. Let's do that. Uh, let's put change our color and spread apart 37. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and one that does not belong. Again, so now if you looked here, partitive, we just split up 37, and there is six in each group. So this also shows six remainder one. How is this going to look like now in an area model? If we were going to take 37 divided by 6, what would that look like? Well, looking at our array, since we're dividing by 6, we're going to go up by 6. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That shows 6. And we are going to go across by 6, because in our area model, I mean our... Um, in our array model, we have six here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so there's six here. And let's complete it. So we've got six and six, but we had one left over. So six times six is 36, but there is this is 37. So one of these is left over that does not belong in the group. So that's our area model, and there showed two different ways. This would be measurement division, and this is partitive division. Every accomplishment began with a decision to try. So let's try some of these. Now, I want to see tomorrow your arrays and area models that demonstrates, or a model that demonstrates each one of the following problems in tonight's little uh, quiz. So the first one is 46 divided by 8. Um, again, please bring your arrays and your area models to school tomorrow. 32 divided by 6. Again, please create an array and an area model to show 32 divided by 6, and I need them in school tomorrow. And your last one is 17 divided by 4. And again, give me an array and an area model and bring them in tomorrow. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something. But what I can accept is not trying. Have a wonderful night, guys.